In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you another one of my favorite little snap throws, little quick passes that you can utilize out of the single back wing stack in the Tampa Bay playbook to really just really work the ball up and down the field against the most meta defenses that you're gonna face in Madden 21. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over the flanker spot out of the play, single or out of the formation, single back wing stack. We're gonna show you how to use this as one of the better snap throws in the entire game, whether uh, especially against the cover three meta Mabel coverage that you're gonna see online. Now again, if you have not, if you uh, are enjoying these videos on the single back wing stack and you wanna get the full scheme, it is in my true fan membership. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description of this video. You can get the true fan membership for just $5 a month. And what you get in that is actually a really good deal. You're gonna get an offensive update every week, a defensive update every week, and then you're also gonna get pro player uh, film analysis where I actually break down what the best players in the community are doing. And for a limited time until August 12th, we're actually offering a nice little promo for Madden 22. And if you sign up for the true fan membership at the link below, what you're going to get, as long as you sign up before August 12th, you'll actually get my first offensive and defensive guide completely free of charge for the Madden 22 season. So if you really want to get a head start on the competition, I would recommend joining the True Fan membership. The link is available down in the description. You can also cancel whenever you want. It's just five bucks a month. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do here is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to really leverage the power of the snap throw to Mike Evans. So you're going to see here, I'm just going to motion him across to the right. We're going to snap the ball kind of right in this little pocket. And basically, we're going to throw it out there every single time. And as you can see, as long as they're not in cover two on that outside, um, this is going to be very effective. It's going to be really, really good against the blitz. It's really, really good um, specifically against the meta Mabel coverage because it's so simple. Um, and at the same time, it's super, super effective. So again, all we're doing, really simple, we're just motioning the square receiver to the outside. I like to typically snap the ball kind of right there. And that way I can tell if I can throw that ball or not. And as you see, it's a real simple little five yard route. Now what we're gonna do with the rest of this concept is we're gonna really try to make this very uh, good against under center uh, pressure. If they're, if they're gonna send some pressure at us, we really wanna have answers to that. And so one of my favorite little things that I can do off of this is to actually take the circle receiver and I'm going to go ahead and leave him on his corner route. Um, I'm going to take the back, and what I'm going to do with the running back on this play is I'm actually going to put him on um, a table route if you want to. You can put him on a table route. If you don't like the idea of putting the back on a route, then what you can simply do is just put him on a check and release. Um, another one of my favorite things to do is just block him. If you wheel route him, I just want you to see where he's going to go. Again, we like to run this with the two receivers to the wide side of the field. And what you're gonna see is this wheel paired with this corner route is really good from under center. Um, you're gonna see they're gonna get in kind of a unique spot. And if you see pressure, he's gonna cut right up against that zone coverage, just like that, into a really vulnerable position uh, for the defense to have to defend. So not only are we gonna be able to beat the zone coverage with this, which are also gonna be able to beat the man coverage. So I just wanna show you this first and foremost, this route to the square receiver. Um, this little button hook, button curl. What we're going to do is low ball it. And what you're going to see here, um, and actually we're not going to low ball, but we're going to probably pass lead this to the outside. This is really, really good against press man-to-man. -man. It's really good against off man-to-man. -man. All you're doing is you're just throwing this ball uh, with an outside pass lead to the square receiver. Kind of right once he gets on the sideline, just like that. And you're going to get that little basket catching animation that I really like. So you not only have a snap throw against zone, but you also have a very good and very effective snap throw against man. Now, if you wanted to, what you could also do with this is you could take the X and put him on a drag, and then we could take the running back and simply block the running back. This is another great way to run this concept um, because not only is it good against man on that route, but you've got, to, um, you've got a couple other routes that are really good against man. The first one, and of course, you don't want to throw that post if you get that look right there where the, the, they kind of spy over the middle of the field. But what you're going to get if you, if you drag that player on the uh, right side You've got this little button curl, but you've also got this drag route that is really successful against man to man. Um, it's one of the better man beaters because again, tight end, tight end drag routes are super effective um, pretty much against any defense uh, in man to man. 
The other thing that you're going to have going for you on this is if you use that drag concept, what it's going to do is it's going to create a natural high-low on this left side of the field. And if your corner route gets open, you can easily throw that and get easy separation or easy yardage um, against what the defense is doing. Not only do you have those two quick reads against this, but this is one of my favorite routes um, or my favorite plays, especially if you s notice that your opponent is sending a lot of pressure uh, out of man-to-man because -man, you got your snap throws on both sides, but then you also have this R1 receiver that is going to beat man-to-man -man every single time. So pretty much every route on the play beats man, and also every route on the play, pretty much every route beats zone coverage. So let's just say, for example, that they're um, playing cover two on the right side. And you can't throw your little um, quick throw to Evans. Well, what you can do is you're going to say, okay, look, oh, it's not open. So now I progress to my next read, which is the drag route. And as you see, the drag route is really good against zone blitzes. Uh, really, really good against zone blitzes. That's not the only route that you're going to have against the zone pressure, um, but it's one of the one of the few that you are going to have. Obviously, if they blitz their user down the middle of the field or if they jump on the drag route, um, the next thing you're going to be able to do is just hit this R1 receiver right on the cut. I find that route to be super glitchy and super effective against zone. Pretty much any zone in the game is going to have trouble defending that route. The next route, and of course you're blocking six as well, um, but the next route that you're going to have on this play is your corner route, of course. So we're looking no, now we're looking to drag no, and now we look to the corner, and we see that he's wide open on the outside. So this is a true progression, one, two, three to four, with blocked running back. I think this is one of the better plays in the entire game. Now again, let me show you now um, if your opponent, for example, plays uh, a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more aggressive on this tight end route and what you're going to see is it's going to if they play mabel uh, honestly mabel coverage is okay it doesn't stop the snap throw i will be clear that it does not stop this route you'll see here if they are playing mabel coverage and i want to throw that ball out there i can throw that ball out there very consistently and as you can see it's going to really do a lot of damage to the opponent but now what we can do, and once you start to see that you're seeing a lot more Tampa 2, you know, maybe they're dropping people back because they just don't have the um, ability to be able to stop you. And that's where I like to audible to the four verticals out of this formation. And what you're going to see is whenever we motion this guy, we're going to use that same, um, that same basic motion. Um, but what I like to do is I'm actually just going to motion this guy to the outside, snap the ball. And what you're going to see first and foremost is the R1 receiver um, is going to get in a really unique position on the field. So let me show you that one more time. And again, I just want to show this mainly out of Tampa 2. And then we're going to go over a couple of other coverages that you might see um, in this game. So again, really simple uh, four verticals. You know, they're not going to know that you're running this, obviously. Um, one simple little thing you can do is just streak the circle receiver just like so. Um, and then I typically like to motion this guy to the outside. And what you'll see on this right side real quick is if I pass lead this to the right side, um, you'll see, and then Brady, Brady's kind of selling on me here a little bit, but if Brady can make that throw uh, to the outside, you're going to have a lot of success with that tight end route. Um, and then you're going to also be able to see that we can actually beat coach on both sides. The reason I'm not going over the left side just yet is because what a lot of people will do um, is they'll play cover three on one side and they'll play cover two on the other side. So that's where I really like um, I just really like this setup right here. I find that this is the best way to beat both of these coverages. But again, I just want you to watch this R1. And I'm just going to pass lead him to the right. Once he's even, he's leaving. And I can kind of get that ball over the top to the right. Now, if you're having any trouble, as I am in this video, uh, with getting this route to work, there's a couple things that you can do. The first thing that you can do is what I, or the first thing that I want you to do is I want you just to simply streak both of the guys at the seam. So you're going to see here go to four verticals. And I just streak both of these players. The reason I like to do that is because you'll see it'll keep the, the right side guy a little bit more vertical. And now you can see that I can kind of fit that throw in. If I have Gunslinger, that's a little bit easier of a throw uh, for me to make. The second thing that I like to recommend to people, um, especially if they're struggling with this uh, cover two beater, is a simple motion of the opposite side slot receiver. So if I just take this guy right here and I put him in, whoops, I didn't have uh, four verticals out but I have him in motion, uh, you're going to see that this is a great complement to this because, again, what we're working people up to is, and again, obviously, if they're playing 30-yard cloud flats, you're going to still be able to hit Evans. So we'll go over that in just a second. But just motion sky all the way over and kind of snap the ball right in here. And what you're going to see is, if you take a look, you see, you notice him. That's a very unique route. So he's on an option route in the play arc. 
But when you move that option around, this is one of the really simple secrets, I think, of this formation. When you move that option route, that circle is on, you're going to see that he's actually going to turn this into a fade route. And so you don't have to keep R1 on his route if you don't want to. One of the things that I recommend doing is, you know, just simply maybe putting him on a flat route. Um, you could also drag him. But I just want you to watch the circle receiver right off the rip here. And again, I'm just going to snap him in motion. And basically, he's going to kind of fade to the outside. And as you can see, I can hit that against that cover two. Now, not only can I do that against cover two, but another little pro tip of things that I could do against cover two is this right here. And really the main route on this play or the main way to attack cover two from this formation is this uh, right here. And of course I accidentally audible to bunch ace, but you wanna be in wing stack. Let me back up here. Um, let me go back to single back wing stack verticals. You see here, I'm gonna streak the circle receiver so he really runs vertical. And then I'm just gonna basically motion this guy to the outside and kind of snap him on the outside. And what you're gonna see is if they're in cover two, you're gonna have a wide open throw against cover two on the sideline on that side of the field. So now you have two um, kind of simultaneous routes that are gonna do really good against cover two. I think you need to have that because a lot of people are gonna be running cover two um, against you. This is a really good little way to do this. Another way to attack cover two is just play double corner. Um, so what you're gonna see here is I'm just going to streak the X and streak the R1 receiver. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna smart route the square receiver, just like this. And then I'm gonna put a flat route to the circle receiver. And what you're gonna see is this little snap throw right here to the square receiver, as long as he responds to the ball, is really not gonna be a problem. You can motion that route to make it a little bit better. Um, but I find, you know, just snap, throwing the ball, clicking on the receiver is, is really good. So you'll see right here, again, I'm just going to smart route him, snap the ball, just throw it, click on. You see, you get the snap throw. So I got snap throws all over the field, but I also got ways to beat the cover two coverage because that's the coverage that you're going to see most. Uh, again, the original play we were talking about was this idea of flink or spot. This route is such a, a, a pest. It really is. It's just going to basically really pester the defense and they're not going to be able to stop it consistently and you're going to be able to just work the ball up and down the field so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it this is some under center quick passing out of the single back wing stack in the bucks playbook if you want to learn the full single back wing stack scheme i put a link to it in our true fan membership the, there's a link to which you can join the true fan membership in the description of this video and just a quick reminder if you join the true fan membership before august 12th you're going to actually be able to get my first offensive and defensive ebook of Madden 22 completely free of charge. We're going to put it right in the True Fan membership for you guys, um, for those of you that are True Fan members before August 12th.